Good afternoon, Connor Cougars. I'm Saad Simra. And I'm Elion, and this is your afternoon announcement. Attention, 9th to 11th graders. We are now selling seats, or have been selling seats, for students who want to take the 2022 PSAT, which will be held at this very location, at this very school, on Wednesday, October 12th. Juniors can take this exam for entry into the National Merit Scholarship Program, whereas freshmen and sophomores can take it just for practice. There are less than 100 seats available, so supplies are very limited. Stop by the counseling office prior to lunchtime in order to test and receive a, in order to order a test and receive a student study guide. Any questions, please stop by the counseling office. Attention juniors and seniors, the Connor Counseling Office will be hosting an annual financial aid night on Monday, September 26th at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Keith Ritchie, Northern Kentucky Outreach Counselor with the KHEAA will speak on and answer questions regarding financial aid, scholarships, keys, and completion of the FAFSA. There will also be time for a question and answer period. Please make plans if interested to attend. There will be a lot of information available. Ever wondered why there have been so many sculptures around the school? So have we. Uh, which is why we're going to go over to, um, we're going to go see what the general public have been thinking about it. What their thoughts are. Hello, Ray and Connor student. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Tell me, what are the current thoughts going through your mind as you see that dangling sculpture right there? One, first of all, I'm wondering why I have Christmas socks on. It's not even Christmas yet. Second of all, why is he dangling? What is he doing? I've seen sculptures all around the floor in school. I don't know why they're happening. Tell me, for, for when you first saw them, did you think they were actually real people? Yeah, I did. I see, I see. Well, thank you for your time. Please try not to get yourself further traumatized with this. I hope you recover from it. Hello, Random Connor student. Tell me, how are you doing today? I'm pretty good, how are you? I'm doing great. Tell me, what are the current thoughts going through your mind as you saw that uh, sculpture made by the sculpture classroom? Um, I am going to say that it freaked me out. When I saw it, I jumped. I was not expecting it, but it is very nicely made. Um, I'm sure these sculpture class people would be thanking you for your comment. Tell me, did you think it was an actual real person when you saw it? I actually did, and then I realized that it was a sculpture. When did you realize it was a sculpture? Like, what part of it did you see made you realize it wasn't a sculpture? Um, I would have to say the hands. The hands? Okay. Well, tell me, how are you feeling today? I'm pretty well. How about yourself? I'm doing good. What are the first thoughts that came through your mind when you first saw the sculptures made by the sculpture class? Real. Real. Were you, like, concerned about it, terrified? Or what emotions were going through your mind? Well, it depends on what year and uh, what sculpture. There are times I, I see them and I'm ready to yell at them, and there are times I'm ready to uh, call Deputy Bertram. There you have it, about the um, sculptures. So, yeah. Thank you. Th thank you for your time. Good afternoon, Random Connor High student. Tell me, how are you feeling today? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Tell me, what are the first thoughts that went through your mind when you first saw these sculptures littered around the school? I thought it was some dude just showing the vending machine, but uh, looked pretty cool. Obviously, not real. So. All right, tell me, when you saw it, what, what part of the sculpture did you see that made you realize it's fake? It's face. His face is very white, and there's no eyeballs, so barely give it away. All right, well then, thank you very much, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you for your time. So we are here with Emma Hart, and she's going to tell us what she feels about this statue that we found. Um, I really think she has great hair. I think it looks great. She's really going with the comfy vibe at school, which I do appreciate. And I think that the clear hand really adds a lot of character. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi, I'm here with a random Connor student. What's your name? Gavin. So, Gavin, what did you think about this statue over here? It was like shoes are muddy and he's like he has no drip it's pretty scary because i thought it was a real person i saw it was fake because it's like weird looking hey thank you we are here with a random connor student could you please tell us your name gabriella watson so gabriella what did you think about this statue i really liked it it was kind of scary though when i first saw it because i thought it was real after that i thought it was really cool though so what do you like most about it i like the kids are like age created thank you that's it so i'm here with a random connor student what's your name Bo. Bo, what did you think about this statue right here? At first I thought it was a dwarf, um, just hanging on for life. I later figured out that it was a statue. What is one thing that you like about it? How realistic it looks when you're not directly looking at the face. I mean, it looks realistic. Thanks, that's it. If you are interested in joining FFA, 
you can pay your $15 dues before or after school in room 129. If you are unsure if you would like to join but request more information, come to our next meeting. Listen to the announcements. Here are the upcoming ACT test dates. You can sign up on ACT's website. Helping Hands for the Homeless is a CHS club that creates food bags, hygiene kits, and shelter kits and other supply, other supply kits for the unsheltered homeless in Florence, Covington, Newport, and Cincinnati. On Friday, September 16th, after school, in the library from 2.30 p.m. to 3.15 p.m., we will have a planning meeting. If you would like to help brainstorm ideas and help organize our first club meeting, please join us. We will not be packing supply kits on this day just yet, just planning for our upcoming, pla uh, packing, uh, upcoming packing event. If you have any questions, please email or send a Canvas message to Ms. Jody Peterson. Student Council applications are ready and are available in room 122 or in the office. Applications are due September 30th. Hey Ava, what are CHS students wearing? Hi Connor Cougars, I'm Ava Anderson and I'm going to be hosting your fit check today. Today I am wearing a flannel from Aeropostale, a shirt from Aeropostale, and jean shorts from Aeropostale, and some Converse. What are you wearing? Uh, some black shoes, some sweatpants, I found in a laundry hamper, and then whatever that says. <laughs> Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach, yeah. Thank you. No today. I got a black Nike tag, pack sun shorts, Nike socks, and 7210 lows. Awesome. Yup. What are you wearing? What am I wearing? Okay, so I got this gray sweater from Walmart. Got a little stain on it. And then I got this pink polo. I don't. I forget where I got it from. Uh, black jeans and some Converse's. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Seniors, you should have received Senior Picture Day information in the mail from Prestige. If you did not, please visit our Senior Board for pricing and appointment information. If you want your senior picture to be featured in the yearbook and the group composite that hangs in the hallway, you must schedule an appointment with Prestige for the tuxedo and drape photos. FBLA will have a meeting immediately after school on Tuesday, September 27th in the library. If you cannot make it or would like more information, please contact Mrs. Crockett. And that's about it, Connor Cougars, for the announcement today. But right before we go, I just want to wish Aisha Adan, a very good, a very good classmate on this media team of mine, a very happy birthday. And as she is my second most favorite person on the media team, so please wish her a very well birthday. And uh, like I said, that's about it, Connor Cougars. Have a cougarific, terrific. Fantastic weekend.